Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have another unboxing. This is from Aardvark Book Club. This is a new book club. It just started in October, so this is the second box I've received from them. So let's check it out and see what's inside. Here we go. This is what it looks like when you open the box. It's in the top we have the Aardvark bookmark. And the question on the bookmark this month is, how would you rewrite the ending. Next we have a note from Aardvark Book Club. It says, Dear member, welcome to the second ever month of the Aardvark Book Club. And then it talks a little bit about each of the choices this month. And then finally, here is the book I chose this month. This is called The Socialite's Guide to Murder by S.K. Golden. This is a mystery and it says, The hotel was her refuge, but scandal is afoot and the killer stalks the halls in this charming series debut. It seems pretty short, it's 255 pages. I did not show you last month, but the Aardvark books do have the Aardvark symbol on the book jacket, and then when you take off the jacket, it does have the Aardvark stamp on the top, and I love a good mystery. In fact, my choice for book of the month this month was also a mystery. I chose The Last Party. You can check out that unboxing, but I also will be reviewing this one in my next book of the month unboxing, so be sure to stay tuned for that as well. In addition to The Socialite's Guide to Murder, there were four other choices to choose from. Those choices were a sci-fi called Singer Distant by Ethan Chagnier, a historical fiction called Gilded Mountain by Kate Manning, a thriller called The Other Side of the Night by Adam Hamdy, and a romance called Closer to OK by Amy Watson. Last month, I received two books from Aardvark. The first one I read was The Night Ship by Jess Kidd. And I'll be honest with you, this was not my cup of tea at all. This book felt like a school assignment that I just had to power through and finish. I should have just put it away and not finished it, but it was very detailed. It does follow the true story of a ship called the Batavia. It was built in Amsterdam. It had over 300 passengers. And in 1629, this ship wrecked off of the coast of Australia. This book follows a young girl named Macon. In 1629, she is a passenger on the ship. You follow her adventures on the ship and her life once the ship is wrecked off of the coast of Australia and see kind of history unfold through her eyes. Meanwhile, you're also following a boy named Gil in 1989. He is living on an island off of Australia, so you're following his life as well. But again, this book was such a struggle for me. It took forever to finish this book. Again, felt like a school assignment. I did learn a lot. I will say I did go back and read about the actual shipwreck and what really did happen. It's a terrible historical event, but I did learn something, so that is glass half full. But it definitely was not an enjoyable read for me. The other book I read from Aardvark last month was The Marsh Queen by Virginia Hartman, and I loved this book. So this book followed a woman who works at the Smithsonian. She goes back home to Florida and she starts to uncover the truth about her father's death. He died when she was 12 years old and what she thought happened to him ends up not being what really happened. So she spends the book uncovering all of these clues and figuring out the truth. It did take a few chapters to get into the story, but once I got into it, I did not want to put this book down. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a beautiful novel and I highly recommend it. And that was it. That was everything in my November Aardvark book club box. If you have any questions about Aardvark, please leave those in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.